Hey there everybody, it's your boy Z-Man here to bring you part 45 of our Pokemon Black Let's Play. In the last part, in case you forgot, since it was a long, long time ago, N got Zekrom. I know, it's terrible, he's got a legendary and we don't. So now it is up to us to go save the world by finding Reshiram, by going to the Relic Castles. That's what, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to the Relic Castle, hopefully we can find Reshiram down there. But before we do that, we got to do something I've been meaning to do forever. Uh, we, well not forever, but uh, something I've been meaning to do ever since Muna learned the move Psychic. We got to use our Moonstone on Luna so that she can, so, she, so that he, the man who dresses up like a shower curtain, can evolve into a more purplish based shower curtain known as Musharna. That's right, we're finally gonna get Musharna. I've had questions as to why I haven't evolved Muna yet, and I was and I always say I'm waiting until I can learn the move Psychic, because Musharna does not learn any moves, and it, I made that mistake once already, I'm not gonna make it again. So wait until Mush uh, Muna learns Psychic, and apparently he learned Psychic a little while ago, and I just didn't notice it, so We've got a Musharna now, just to let you know. I figured I'd better show that on screen, so... Bring up my Max Repels, because I have a feeling I'm going to be wanting those. Uh, and now we're going to head off by selecting a Pokemon that I have recently gotten. So, uh, I did get a Tranquil, named it uh, Fly, the Fly Man. And now he's going to take us all the way down to Numbasa City. Since the Relic Castle is in fact in the Desert Resort, we've got to head to Nimbasa City, the closest thing. We could go pay a visit to Elisa. I know she wants me, and we never did get that date. No, I do not want the cutscene where I have to go into black. We never did get that date, so maybe I should go talk to her? Maybe... Uh, no, we don't have time. We've got to save the world. we got to stop N from using Zekrom to separate people in Pokemon. It's not going to be cool. And here we are out in the Route 4 uh, on our way to the Desert Resort, which is over here to the left. Now, uh, I realized as I was going through this on my test run that I hadn't actually been up here yet, so all these trainers I had to fight again. I've already fought most of them. Uh, there's only a few that I have not fought for the purposes of... Uh, showing you some stuff that you might want to know. Um, I don't really know. There's not there's not too much that's very important in terms of the desert resort battles. Uh, for the most part, all you need to know is that first you want to come up here. You want to fight the doctor. Why? Because he's a doctor. That's why. As you're walking around the desert resort, you're going to be running into a, a bunch of Pokemon if you don't put on a repel like I do all the time. And... Uh, all these trainers all have pretty good Pokemon at the time. If all these Pokemon are level 20s or so, because that's where you're at when you go to Nimbasa City. We're a little bit higher advanced, aren't we? Because there's the Great Armada at level 36. Slightly bigger. Uh, we're just going to use Spark on this Dr. Solosis. Take him down. Better take him down. Jeez. Level 22 versus the level 36. Even with the boost, he's only got 300 and some HP for that. We're going to get $1,300 from winning. And now he's going to make our Pokemon healthy, even though they're completely healthy already, because I went to the Pokemon Center before starting this. Uh, another thing that you want to do, the one other thing that you want to do, might as well go around and get these uh, items. If I remember correctly, there is a rare candy somewhere in this area. I've already gotten it, so uh, sorry about that. Down here... It's a fire stone, not a tire, a stone that is used to evolve certain fire Pokemon. Although a tire would be nice, I did blow one earlier this week. That was a fun experience. Over here you can get some Stardust, another nice item to grab. Um, if I remember correctly, I also... Um... Oh, I forgot to... Well, we're going to fight a Pokemon Ranger here because I have not fought this Pokemon Ranger yet. Also because when you defeat a Pokemon Ranger, she is going to give you a uh, berry that you're going to want to have. Uh, there's, she's going to send out her Ducklet. I mean, I've already got out the Great Armada, which is an electric-type Pokemon. 
And you know what's gonna happen, boys and girls, don't you? Nice little... Nice little, uh, spark to the face of this... ...ducklet thing. And water flying. Terrible combination. I don't know why anybody would ever want that combination. Get some experience points. We defeat Pokemon Ranger Aline. Who calls us hot? Yes. I am. I know you want me, but... Elise is my girl. Speed is crucial to treat a burn. So she gives us the Rossberry, which obviously is going to uh, heal our burns. Whether it's hot or cold, you have no problem, you have passion. Thank you for that. Now, you come over here. I've already fought this Pokemon Ranger. I only wanted to fight the one Pokemon Ranger to show off. You can come down here and you get TM39 Rock Tomb. Not a very good move, but uh, decent enough for what it is. Let's put on another repel really quickly. Man, we're already six minutes into this part. I didn't realize time time time's just flying. I mean, Tuesday, right? I'm recording this on Thursday. Tuesday, we got uh, me and my roommates went to Best Buy. We got ourselves some Batman Arkham City, which, for the record, awesome game. Oh my goodness, I love playing that game. So I spent eight straight hours playing that right after we got it, and then I let my roommate play it for a little while while I slept, because it was eight o'clock in the morning and I hadn't slept yet. Over here you can get into heart scale. Pretty obvious what that is. Uh, so yeah, we were playing just Arkham City. I beat it today, and that was a messed up ending. If any of you actually have beaten the game or have played and beaten the game, that's, that's one messed up ending. I was like... I, I'm, I can't spoil it, because it's, it's such a good ending. You have to see it for yourself. Although, the, fun, the funniest part of that entire game as I was playing that was uh, when I did accidentally did Catwoman's alternate ending. Uh, that was kind of funny. But, uh, enough about Batman. We're talking about Pokemon here. Uh, why I wasn't exactly uploading was, well, I've, I've been busy, and then I got on the fall break, and I got lazy, which is even better, you know, put on the Max Repel, then I got lazy, and, uh, it's not good. Come over here, you get some black glasses, which increases the, uh, damage of a dark-type move, very good, and if you come up here, this guy will give you some soft sand, which increases the attack power of a ground-type Pokemon. I've already gotten that item, so... Uh, we don't even need to worry about it. And here we are, we're at the entrance to the Relic Castle. There's a, the Relic Castle, there's a building over there. That does nothing for you. You want to come to this area. Um, and these things, these are pretty cool. If you come up to here, come up to one of them and just press the A button. It appears to be a statue of a Pokemon. That's actually a Darmanitan. And Darmanitans have a secondary ability known as the Zen Mode ability. Um, it, essentially, if the Darmanitan goes below 50% health, I believe it is. He goes into Zen mode, which increases his, which makes him a psychic fire type, and increases his uh, special attack, while well, drastically lowering his attack power, but his special defense defense and uh, attack becomes so much greater. All these are Darmanitan in, uh, in Zen mode. So, what you have to do is you can get a Rage Candy Bar, uh, from certain areas of the game. I'm not exactly sure. I know you get one at the end of the game from Professor Juniper if you come back here. But if you feed a Rage Candy Bar to one of these Darmanitan, it will wake up and it will become a level 35 Darmanitan with the Zen Mode ability, so that's a good idea to catch one of those if you don't have a Darmanitan yet. The Zen Mode ability is not a terrible ability to have. And look, it's Sharon. That's the entrance to the Relic Castle. I know, that's why I'm here. You're impressive, Z, making it here before I did. It's because I used the move Fly. You should have thought of that, Sharon. Dealing with the Desert Resort's Pokemon took longer than I would have thought. I only made it all the way out here thanks to my Pokemon. Alder went on ahead. Let's hurry. Well, I made it here only because of my Pokemon, too, because one of them had to te one of them had to fly me here. And here we are. We've made it all the way to the Relic Castle, an underground sanctuary for Pokemon and people alike with all these creepy little sinkhole thingies. Now, something interesting, we'll probably learn about this later, but uh, if you, you can walk on these sinkholes as long as you're not walking in the middle, right? Do not walk in the middle. And uh, if you run, you'll get sunk into the sinkhole. So just walk across the outsides and you'll be fine. 
I'm going to try to avoid as many trainers as I can. I do want to talk to this girl. I've been carrying two Pokemon fossils, but they're just so heavy. Would you take one of them off my hands? Now, she's going to give you the opportunity to take two, one of two fossils, just like in the first generation game, you can get the uh, Kabutops or the... Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of the other Pokemon. But you can take one of two fossils in the first game. It's the exact same concept here. You can take the cover fossil, which will evolve into a Tortuga, which is a water rock type Pokemon. Not a terrible, uh, not a terrible set there, water rock. It's very attack and defense based, right? It has a 495 total base stat, uh, according to Bulbapedia. And, uh, it is unbelievably slow. It is so, so slow when it's fully evolved. Uh, it's weak to four different types, resistance to five different types. But I am going to take the Plume Fossil because that gives you Arcan, which is a rock fine type, a decent type again. It's very, very speedy and very, very offensive. And its base stat total is 567, which is a lot more than Caracosta does as an Archaeops, and it's only resi it's resistant to five types, uh, weak to five, and it's unaffected by one, so I am definitely going to take the Plume Fossil every time. Plus, Archaeops is pretty awesome. So we're going to get the Plume Fossil from this chick, and leave everybody else here alone. I'm pretty sure one of those guys up there, if you talk to one of them, they tell you that as long as you stay on the outsides of those uh, sand pits without running, you won't get into too much trouble. And look at this, it's Ryoku. Sounds like a uh, Final Fantasy, well not Final Fantasy, I don't even know. It sounds like a Japanese game name, which this is a Japanese game, so what did I expect? Geddes told us, Geddes told us that once again, we should, we should test how much power you have. We'll see if you can defeat Team Plasma. And so he's gonna let us go on ahead. And we're going to have to fight a few Team Plasma members here in order to make it to the end of the Relic Castle and see if we can find Reshiram. First up, we got here a nice little average Team Plasma grunt. Yay. He's got three Pokemon. Nothing too exciting about fighting Team Plasma grunts again. I mean, it's just Dragon Spiral Tower all over again, except for Underground this time. We're going to send out our uh, Tynamo right there. Uh, great Armad. Throw down a Spark Wave against this Watchog. Let's see how let's see how much damage that can do to it. Hopefully it does plenty. I don't know how much it will do. Did enough. He's gonna use Super Fang, which of course takes out half. I think that's half. Yeah, it takes out half of your health every time. So every single time you use Super Fang, it's not gonna do as much. And we paralyzed the Watchog. That is a great thing, even though we were already uh, faster. And he used Hyper Fang and killed us. Great. So great Armada is gone. I'm gonna throw out Luna because uh, now she now she probably has the speed advantage on this Watchog and uh, she could use the experience. Let's throw down a Psychic type, not a Psychic type. Let's throw down the entire move that is Psychic. I mean, the Psychic type move called Psychic. It's gonna do a lot of damage. So we took out the Great. Uh, we took out that Watchog. Gained some experience. He's gonna send out Crocorock. We're definitely gonna have to switch Pokemon because that's a Dark type and we do not want to face a Dark type with a Psychic type, right, guys? We've learned better than that over our time here with our Pokemon. So we're going to send out Wart, uh, being the water type against this ground type Krokorok. One Surf should be, should absolutely destroy this thing. Watch this, just, just Surf. Surf on it. Boom, Krokorok done. Should be, please, do, yes, Krokorok done, took him out. Wart's going to get some experience. We're gonna get plenty of experience. We're gonna set out another croc rock. We're not gonna switch Pokemon. Why would we switch Pokemon? We've already got the water Pokemon out there. Here comes his other croc rock, looking mighty cool. I mean, he's even got the arms crossed. I love that the croc rock has the arms crossed because it's such, it's supposed to be such a cool Pokemon with the like the black glasses. Uh, the croc rock in the anime is pretty awesome because it does actually have the sunglasses, uh, those dark glasses or whatever. Keeps messing with Ash, and he just evolved into a croc rock too. Not just, that was a couple, two months ago. I'm behind on my anime, guys, I'm sorry. But we've defeated that Team Plasma Grunt. We're gonna run into the sinkhole, and that's what happens when you run into a sinkhole. It slowly sinks you into the middle, and you twist and turn as you fall all the way down there. We can come over here and pick up this item, a max potion. Good, good item to have. And we ran into a wild Pokemon encounter. Awesomeness. And it's a Cofagragus, too. That's 
pretty awesome. I did forget to tell you what type of Pokemon you can find on here. In the desert resort, it's normal, you know, you got your Sandile, you got your Darumaka, you got your uh, Maractus, and your Scraggy, and your Dwebble, and your Stigolith. Um, each of those in, in order, Sandile's 40%, uh, yeah, Sandile's 40%, Darumaka's 30%, uh, Maractus is 10%, Scraggy 10%, Dwebble 10%, and Stigolith 10%. Um, you can also catch those Darmanitan that are in uh, Zen mode and all that good stuff. He used Curse. Good job at using Curse and helping me out a lot. I'm going to use Surf. Take out this Papa Greg so we can get taken down. But here in the Relic Castle, there's a different set of Pokemon that you can catch. Uh, these are more... I don't know. But... In the first and second floor, which is the up, up up farther from us, apparently right now, you can find yourself a Sandile and a Yamask, 50% of the time each. And then when you get farther down, and th to this is, I'm assuming, the third floor, I want to put on another Max Repel. Uh, once you get down to the third through sixth floors, it uh, their evolved forms come up, Croc Rock and Cough. Cofagragus, which we just fought. So we're going to fight one more Team Plasma Grunt before we call it a day and before we call it a part. You, please my Pokemon, lose. Well, how about you lose so that you can please my Pokemon? You know, it's a fair fair trade type thing. First, you lose, and then I'll run away and not lose. Except for, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that joke. Don't laugh at me. But he's got a Scraggy, nice fighting type Pokemon. We're going to send out Wart. Uh, let Wart do some damage here. Let's use the move Surf again. Might as well. I mean, all these Team Plasma Grunts aren't a threat at all. I mean, level 35 Pokemon with Pokemon like Scraggy. Scraggy. I mean, I love the guy. I mean, he's a fighter. He's a fighter in the anime. He, he, I don't get it. I don't know. You can use another scary face to lower my speed even more, even though he's going to die on this Surf right here. Took out Scraggy. Very, very nice. Hopefully the next one is a uh, Crocorock. Nope, he's gonna send out Watchdog, so I'm gonna switch Pokemon to let's let Luna get some action in there. Let's let Luna do some stuff. Good job, Wart. Go Luna. Uh, our brand new Musharna here. The purple Pokemon instead of the pink flowery one. I like this uh, version of Luna much more. He's going to use his Super Fang on us, take out half of our health. I have no problems with that. Here comes our Psychic. Boom, does plenty of damage to this Watchdog. One more Psychic should be splint, should uh, take him out. Does another Super Fang, which can only do half of our HP. And we've taken out his Watchdog. We've defeated this Team Plasma member, and we are ready to finish part 45. I am so sorry. And he grew to, Luna grew to level 8, too. That's awesome, 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 awesome stuff. Took down Team Plasma Front. I'm so sorry it took me so long to get this part out, and I tried to kind of explain it, but those are not very good excuses, I'm assuming, for most of you. But anyway, I would definitely like to thank you for watching this as my repel effect wars off, uh, and I will see all of you guys next time.